Welcome back to the, and the second part of the PHP BB design series by pixelforlife.com. My name is Shannon Lilly, and let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to do is go ahead and create some links up here in the header. So I'm going to create a new folder underneath the header area called header links. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the word home in and make that a little bit smaller. Around 20 PT. Make sure it's on uh, uh, sharp. And then go ahead and hit Control T. And I'm going to rotate this kind of on an angle like so. And one more, actually, so that it's nice and straight. And I know it looks a little distorted, but if you go to the actual pixels of this, it's actually very crisp. So. Um, after I've done that, I'm just going to duplicate this and drag it over, duplicate it, and drag it over, just kind of eyeballing where it needs to be, and then dragging it over. All right, and we're going to go ahead and change some of these now. Instead of this one saying home, we're going to put this to um, members. FAQ, and probably, probably put, I would put this to login, but it, uh, it needs to be able to change back and forth from register and login, so we're going to use regular text down here for that. Um, let's just put in uh, rules, we can put in uh, form rules. And that's a little long, but yeah, we, can just, we can just leave it at rules. That's fine. And once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and create some cool separating lines in here. So all we need to do is go to our single column marquee tool and click. I'm going to do them right next to the text like that. So go ahead and create a new layer. And I'm going to go to edit stroke on the inside by one pixel. Hit OK. And after I've done that, I can then go to my rectangular marquee tool and select all the way down the image, hit delete, because I don't need that extra line going down through there. And then I'm going to copy that over to about there. And just do that again for the next, next one as well. And right now, it looks good, but they're not the same size, and not, not only that, but they're not really lined up. So, but before I go into doing that, I want to drag these in, these layers uh, in between like they're supposed to. Now, rules. I'm gonna move over about like that. Members could probably use a little bit more room, so I'll drag all of these over like that. And that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to just select um, No, I kind of like them over here next to the uh, next to the grid like that. So I'm going to leave them. I, I think it looks good. Now one thing you, you might want to do um, is rotate these uh, over like that for a little bit more stylish effect. If you want you can, but I'm not going to. I, I prefer them straight. I always have preferred things straight up and down, but that's just me. And right now, this is starting to look really good. Um, so yeah, I think this is good. Uh, we need to go ahead and drag all of these over further, though, and actually get rid of that one by rules, like that, make it look more natural. Okay. And I'm going to add a little sur line below this PHP. Uh, and I'm going to put where design happens. Make it a little bit smaller. And make that black. And hit OK. Actual pixels. Put this under just the uh, header area here. 
need to make it a little bit smaller. Make Sue. And there we go. That looks good. So with that, I will go ahead and conclude this second lesson. I know it was a little shorter than the first lesson, um, but I think it's better if we just separate the two uh, so that the whole header area is done, and then we'll move on to the post bit area next. So hope you guys have enjoyed these lessons so far. Be sure to check out our channel at youtube.com forward slash PFL Tuts, and also our website at pixelforlife.com. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.